matchup for any receiver and such as the locker room. Fight clean, fight hard. Let's have a good one. 27 seconds of the very first round. Declaring the winner by top out due to a Welcome fight fans to another thrilling episode on Play Plus TV. Today, we dive into the octagon, but not for the flying knees and brutal knockouts we're going behind the scenes. Buckle up, because we're about to explore the crazy world of my relationship. Imagine this, teammates turn into bitter rivals. Trash talk its personal and friendships aren't tested in the heat of competition. But wait, there's more. Even the fiercest enemies can find respect for each other after a grueling battle. So is there loyalty in the fight game, or is it every fighter for themselves? Join us as we unravel the drama, the camaraderie, and the surprising twists that unfold outside the cage. Let's get ready to rumble with emotions. But don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button before you go. Let's start. The Crucible of Comradeship. The camaraderie that develops between fighters who train together. Imagine the intensity, grueling training sessions pushing each other to their limits, the shared experience of bloody noses, aching muscles, and the post-workout euphoria. It's a unique and powerful bond that transcends individual glory. These fighters become a support system, celebrating victories together like they just won the lottery and picking each other up after devastating losses that feel like the end of the world. It's a special kind of brotherhood or sisterhood that goes beyond just training partners. They become a family. As a prime example, let's take a look at the iconic Jackson Wink MMA Academy in New Mexico. Names like Holly Holm, Greg Jackson the head coach himself, and Carlos Candid all phenomenal fighters who haunt their skills under the same roof. They weren't just training partners, they were teammates even occasionally cornering each other for fights. This shared experience fosters a deep understanding and respect, a we're all in this together mentality that you just can't replicate elsewhere. You see it in the way they celebrate each other's victories, the genuine concern etched on their faces during fights, and the way they erupt in cheers when their teammate gets their hand raised. Friendships on the rocks? Imagine that you spend years training alongside someone, pushing each other to your limits, celebrating victories like they're your own, and picking each other up after crushing defeats. You become more than training partners or teammates, maybe even friends. But then, fight night gets announced and you see your name staring back at you next to your supposed friends. Suddenly, the shared locker room feels tense. The friendly banter dries up. Training sessions become a chess match each fighter strategically hiding their moves while dissecting the other's every technique. That's the harsh reality when teammates become opponents. All those hours spent strategizing together? Now those same tactics could be used to dismantle you in the octagon. Talk about awkward. Remember the bitter feud between Colby Covington and Kamaru Usman? They were once teammates at ATT Gym, sharing countless sweat-drenched training sessions and late-night talks about their dreams of championship glory. But when they were booked to fight each other, Things went south faster than a missed takedown. Covington's trash talk wasn't just heated, it got downright personal, targeting Usman's heritage and even his family. While it may have sold the fight, it also highlighted the emotional roller coaster of fighting someone you once considered a friend. The camaraderie built in the gym can easily be overshadowed by the immense pressure to win and the allure of personal glory. It's a complex situation, and the awkwardness can be as brutal as any knockout. The business of brawling. Let's not forget the ever-present business side of things. MMA is a sport, but it's also a business with significant financial implications. Loyalty conflicts can arise when fighters are managed by the same team but represent different gyms or when they're both vying for the same championship opportunity. Gyms themselves can have falling outs with promotions, leading to fighters getting caught in the crossfire of these disputes. A prime example, the drama between American Top Team and the USC. There were very public disputes about fighter pay and treatment, leading to some American top team fighters leaving the promotion. This kind of business rivalry can have a ripple effect on fighter relationships and career trajectories. Imagine two teammates on the cusp of title contention. One fighter gets the shot, and suddenly there's a sense of competition within the camaraderie. It's a complex web of finances and opportunities that can sometimes overshadow the bond built in the gym. From foes to respect, finding common ground after battle, Here's the beauty of MMA, even the fiercest rivals can eventually develop respect for each other. Years of battling it out in the cage can forge a begrudging admiration. Fighters develop a deep appreciation for the warrior's spirit and the immense skill it takes to stand across from them in the octagon. It's a recognition of the shared sacrifice, the dedication to a brutal sport, and the courage it takes to step into that ring and leave it all on the line. Look at the rivalry between Anderson Silva and Chol Sonnen. Their trash talk was legendary. Their fights were epic. 
Remember Sodom's infamous pre-fight comments about invading Brazil? It was heated, to say the least. But after their second encounter, Silva acknowledged Sonnen's toughness, stating, he's a very tough guy. He surprised me a lot. A sense of mutual respect seemed to emerge, even if it was begrudging at first. It's a testament to the human element of this sport. Even in the heat of competition, fighters can recognize the talent and dedication it takes to reach that level. There's a shared understanding of the grueling training camps, the pressure to perform, and the toll it takes on both body and mind. Another great example is the rivalry between Dominic Cruz and Demetrius Johnson. They were considered pound-for-pound -pound greats, constantly pushing each other to be better. Their fights were incredibly technical, strategic battles that left fans on the edge of their seats. While there was always a competitive fire between them, there was also a clear respect for each other's skills. After their trilogy concluded, Cruz offered high praise for Johnson, calling him one of the greatest mixed martial artists of all time. This kind of mutual respect after years of intense competition is truly inspiring. The Unwritten Code – Sportsmanship in the Octagon There's also an unwritten code in MMA – its sense of sportsmanship that goes beyond the official rules. It's about respecting your opponent's victory and offering support after a loss. This unspoken camaraderie helps maintain a sense of community even amidst competition. We've seen fighters congratulate their opponents after a close fight, even offering words of encouragement after a devastating knockout. Remember the emotional moment after Alexander Volkanovsky defeated Dozi Aldo? Volkanovsky, the clear victor, showed immense respect by helping Aldo up and embracing him. These moments remind us that while they may be rivals in the cage, they're still fighters who understand the sacrifices and challenges of this sport. They share a bond forged in the fires of competition, a respect for the warrior's spirit that resides within each other. The Evolving Landscape of MMA Relationships The MMA world is constantly evolving. Fighters switch gyms, rivalries fade, and new alliances form. It's a dynamic environment where relationships are constantly in flux. This unpredictability keeps things interesting, as one fight can completely reshape the landscape of friendships and rivalries. Remember the surprising friendship that blossomed between Conor McGregor and Khabib Nurmagomedov after their highly anticipated fight. It was a rivalry filled with tension and trash talk. However, after the fight, a sense of respect seemed to emerge with Khabib even going as far as calming his team down after the post-fight brawl. This unexpected turn of events highlights the ever-changing nature of MMA relationships. Alright fight fans, that's a wrap on the wild world of MMA relationships. We explored the deep bonds forged in training camps, the intensity of battling former teammates, and even the surprising respect that can blossom after a heated rivalry. It's a constant dance in the octagon, isn't it? One fight can turn a bromance into a bitter feud, and another can see respect emerge from the ashes of trash talk. This sport keeps us on our toes, both with the action inside the cage and the unpredictable connections that form outside it. But hey, that's what makes MMA so darn interesting. We never know what story will unfold next. So let's hear from you. Jump down to the comments and share your favorite MMA relationship story. Was it a shocking betrayal, an unexpected friendship, or a heartwarming moment of respect after a brutal fight? Thanks for joining us today. Don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe to the channel so you never miss an episode. Until next time, stay healthy, keep training hard, and keep on fighting for what you believe in. Thanks.